Welcome to my complete Android and iOS application development using Flutter 3.0. In this course, you are going to learn everything about Flutter and its package extension. And not just that, we are also going to look into backend side of our application. That is, creating API for our blog system, our comment API, other API, product API, search API, and even user API. And not just writing this only, we are also going to be creating a custom HT access for our API URL. After this, we are also going to learn how to link everything down to our um, Flutter application. That is, connecting the blog UI interface directly to the API. We are going to learn every aspect of this widget, everything we use to create this header image, the card list, everything that we have here is going to be learned from scratch. That is, the on-click event, um, also making comments, uh, also making comments to your post, logging in. For example, I can decide to log into this current application before this comment is going to be accepted. So I'm going to use test user that I just created to log in here, testuser.com, and the password is one two three four five. So I'll click on sign in. Now, as you can see, I'm logged in. So once I'm logged in, I can what? I can add comments. At the moment, this post does not have any comments attached to it. If I go to the admin section, you're also going to notice that. If I click on comments now, and I click on this comment section, this comment section is going to allow me to comment now because I'm logged in. So I'm going to write, I love this post. So if I submit this comment now, this comment is added, but it's waiting for admin approval. So I'll go to the admin section, go to my local host on the admin section, go to the dashboard, then go to the comment section. Don't forget this project is built for beginner. So this UI may not really be fancy, but the functionality is amazing. Now as you can see, this is the po this is the comment I dropped just now. I love this post. So it's not active yet. So what I will do is I will what, I will approve this com I will approve this comment now. And if I check the live if I check the live um post, you are still going to find the, the comment on the live post and also on the mobile application. So let me click on approve. But now it has been approved. So if you go back again to the app. Um, location as you can see we have dozy umbozy as as the post so i will click on read now and over here we have the what we have the comment and if i check the mobile app as you can see it is what it is zero so if i just leave this app and come back it's going to be visible now watch if i click go back and enter we have the one comment awesome so also the same applies to the android section if i click inside this place now the comment that is added into this place is going to automatically sync to this place also in a real time once the data is applied to the server hand so there is a lot for you to learn in this course so after we are done with the blog section we are going to move down to the e-commerce area under this e-commerce as you can see we have a slider we have a slider section on our page so this slider section you are going to learn how to do it from scratch i mean from scratch how this is being done you are going to learn it the same applies to these cards here these cards we have here you are going to learn how to build this card from scratch from scratch now as you can see we have a, we have an amazing landing page for each of our uh, of our products i can decide to add this product to cards which is a, a single quantity and you are going to learn how all this thing is being possible increasing the quantity going to cards let me add another product to cards let me add a very simple product okay so i'm going to add a single quantity of this product to my cart and if i go to cart you are going to find this product in cart the same applies to the android section if i add this product to cart this amazing bread amazing bread i'm going to add it to cart that it has been added to cart let me also add this um amazing smart mem polo to my cart so this has been added to my cart on the android section so if i go to cart if i go to the um cart section you are going to find the two page open up for the iOS we have this amazing page and for the android we have this amazing page so all this page that is designed you are going to learn it from scratch also for every product you added to this place do you know you can actually delete it the functionality to take it out you're also going to learn how to do it so i can decide to increment this quantity the same applies to the android section and I can decide to just take out this product. Okay, I don't want to buy that anymore. So I just take out this product. This product is not, is removed. So we are going to be checking out now on our iOS. I'm going to click on checkout. Use Flutter Wave on the iOS and for the Android. 
I'm going to click on checkout and use paystack. So why this paystack blows up, I'm going to go to my Google to look for paystack um, test key. So paystack test card, then go to the page and select this very first one. No um, validation is required. So over here, I'm going to enter this card. It is 408. 408 okay 408 408 408 one this is a test card not a life card so 10 sorry 10 23 so 10 23 and the cvv is 40 408 so i'm going to click on um, pay now once I click on pay it's going to process the transaction and once this transaction is successful It's going to redirect me to the other page. Awesome So let's now go back again to the iOS version and use the test card for flutter wave payment gateway So I'm going to look for flutter wave test card. So flutter wave Flutter wave test card. Awesome. So let's go to flutter wave test card section click on the testing in the testing area scroll down to where you have the test card section over here i have 5530 so i'm going to open the ios application once again then click on the um card section over here i'm going to pass in the five five three one then eight eight six six um five two okay so one four then two nine five zero so the same for the month and the year we are gonna pass the o nine three two and for the cvv we are going to be passing the five six four awesome so i'm going to click on pay seven thousand five hundred now and this payment is going to initialize it's going to ask me for some token so i'm going to use this one two three four five for the otp so let's use that one two three four five for that and then i'm going to click on submit now so it is now um verifying the payments that i just made now so once the payment is verified as you can see it's verified it's going to redirect me to the uh, other page as you can see this is amazing this is awesome so this is the previous order that i made as you can see we have what five what we have our uh, four nine five zero as you can see this is it here so everything that we have here you are going to learn how to build it from scratch i mean from the ground level so everything that we have here, including the other detail page where you have your product listed for you you are going to learn how to do it oh okay, guys this is an amazing course that is going to change your life i mean your life forever get a good job and do it better in the tech industry get the course now and join me to achieve this greatness together okay guys thank you once again